Hey coaches, what's going on? It is Coach Tim here with another video, guys, and I got a really good one for you today. I'm going to talk to you guys about three lessons I've learned about coaching high school football that I learned this year. For you know, some of you guys, um, you may know that I coach little league football, and I was over um, a whole entire youth football program, but I also coached high school football, and uh, definitely one of the more interesting years. Um, of my coaching career, and I'm going to share three lessons I've learned, especially for you guys who's thinking about coaching high school to middle school ball. All right, guys, before I get into this video, do me a solid like and subscribe to my channel, guys. You'll be doing me a solid. And uh, as a gift to you guys, don't forget to download my free Beast Formation playbook, guys. That averaged us 35 plus points a game, and we put up 72 points in our championship game. All right, guys, so let me get into this video. All right, guys, so. Coaching high school football this year was really cool, you know, on a lot of levels. You know, the high school program that I was a part of was um, actually the same program I actually played football for. And the, the challenge, though, was this program has not had a win, win a season in over 15 plus years. And so really you know having a new coach high school football coach come in and me be a part of his staff was really cool because you you learn and this kind of number one you learn that high school and little league football is not too much different you know of course there's different functions you know boosters and you know different logistical things and administrative things you have to handle but in terms of player development, leadership, um, building culture, you know, it, it, it's not too much different. You're just, you're just dealing with older kids and you still, you still got the same issues. You still got kids who may have disciplinary issues or parent issues. You may have, you know, that kid in the locker room that's an that's a absolute leader and, and command, you know, the team. These kids are just older. And so, you know, if you've been thinking about coaching high school football and you're like, man, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really deal with these kids, uh, you'll be surprised, guys, that a lot of these kids, they, they, they are still needing direction, a role model to look up to, and somebody to coach them up to be great athletes. All right, guys? Here's number two, guys. This is a relationship business I've learned, guys. Is that, you know, I've been coaching youth sports, youth football, youth softball, baseball, all of that good stuff for 13, 14 years now, right? But what I've learned is you build the right relationships on the high school level, guys, you could easily be a part of a coaching staff or be a head coach yourself, work your way to be a head coach yourself, you know, just by the relationships that you you build. You know, the the high school football coach, um, we became friends. You know, we you know, he he uh, text me or call me whenever he need anything, not just on a football level, but on a personal level. And that's what you want. You want that kind of relationship where other coaches know, like, and trust you guys. You know, um, I started networking. I already I always had great relationships with, you know, other coaches and even with some of you guys who are in Beast Out U. But, you know, I got a lot of great local relationships that if I was to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, do you have room on your coaching staff for next season? You know, I have no doubt that I'll be a part of another coaching staff, you know, if I wanted to go that route. And so, guys, it's all about them relationships, guys. If you inspire to be a coach at the next level, build relationships with your local school, email the coach, ask him, can he just, you can just come and volunteer. This is the best time to build those relationships, guys. And, and that's going to be just advantageous for you. And then, guys, number three is that you have to become a student of the game. And you have to realize that you don't know everything. 
you know, like me, I've been coaching 13, 14 years, but the things that I learned from the offensive coordinator this year has been just crazy, you know? Really smart guy. He loves to run spread, RPOs, air raid, that kind of stuff. And just the things that I, I've learned and the things that I've observed has has been just like a like a, a human cheat sheet, guys. Um, and you know, my football IQ, I feel like, has you know shot up 10x. You know, since I started coaching, you know, on the high school level, guys. And you know, when you come into this thing, don't come into this thing trying to act like you know know. Uh, more than than the coaching staff, yeah, you may there may be things that you do know that they don't know, but you need to come into this thing learning, willing to give and willing to take, willing to give, willing to take. That's the way this thing needs to be, and don't come in headstrong and cocky because that's the number one way that you become unemployed next season or not on the coaching staff next season, guys. So, so I'm here to tell you guys that. If you want to coach youth football, I mean, excuse me, high school football, do it. If you want to do both, do it. Now, <laughs> I will say me doing both was, like, hard. It was just a lot. It was real time consuming, you know, um, especially with me running a business um, outside of football. You know, it becomes real time consuming. However, if that's something you want to do, I would recommend you doing it or you know, even if you say, hey, I'm going to take a break from youth football this season and focus on high school football, you know, come on to the staff as a volunteer and learn. That's how you get opportunities at other schools. You know, guys, that's that's how you do that. That's how you put yourself in a position to really catapult your youth football or your coaching career if you want to coach high school football, guys. So definitely do that, guys. And so that's it with this video, guys. I just wanted to make a really quick video to God, mot motivate you guys who inspired to coach high school football. Do it, guys. Be a relationship. I'm here, to, I'm, I'm here to give you permission to do it. If you've been thinking about it, if it's an itch that you can't scratch, guys, c connect with your local high schools or connect with, 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 you know, if you got relationships with guys who already coach on that level, talk to them today. Talk to them today. And tell them that, hey, you know, I'm interested in coaching high school football. You know, if you don't have the credentials or like in terms of the certifications and stuff in your state, these coaches are still let you on their staff as a volunteer coach. Do that, guys. Do that. Get on get on the staff as a volunteer coach. You know, coach with these kids um, in spring training and see how you like it. And then from there, you're able to make a decision on do you want to stay with youth football? Do you want to coach high school or middle school? Or do you want to do both? You know, guys? And so that's that's how you do it, guys. All right, guys. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, hit that like button for me, guys. Subscribe to my channel, guys. You will be doing me just such a favor. I really appreciate you guys. I'm right at a, a, a thousand subs. I'm getting very close. Help me hit that thousand subs, guys. Um, really appreciate really appreciate you guys for everything that you've been doing, guys, and helping Beast out you to be great. All right, guys, I want you to remember, be great, have fun, and Beast out. Peace.